We all know how periods can be. You have cramps, you fall asleep, literally, no matter what you're doing, and you break out. So here are my tips to help with that. Hey guys, today I am doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I kind of thought it would be a little tiny bit awkward or weird, but a friend of mine on YouTube did it, and her name is Courtney. I'll leave her channel in the description box in that video, but this is kind of like a PMS Essentials video, which is kind of weird, but most of my viewers are young girls, and I feel like that's like the hardest time because we're just getting used to all that horrible stuff that goes along with that time of the month. I have things like necessities that like you definitely need, and then things that come with all the side effects, and then just things that you might just want to do because it sucks and you want to have a better day or week or whatever. Let's get started. Okay, so the first two things are going to be pretty obvious, but I just thought I'd mention them anyway, and one is tampons. I only use Tampax Pearl. I think that they're the easiest to use, they are the most absorbent, and they're just the best, and I like them best. And then also, these are the Carefree Liners. I really like them. They're really like lightweight, you don't feel them, they're not uncomfortable, and they're super, super compact as you can see. Other ones I've tried before are like unwrapped, so you can't really keep them in your bag with you, but these, because they're so tiny and compact, you can just like literally pop it in the little back part of your purse, or even stick it in your pocket or something, so I think that's really fantastic. Now that was like the bodily stuff that you like definitely need to use, and then this stuff kind of is, I'd say, is for cramps, I guess, which is something I think most people experience. I personally get the worst cramps ever. I actually, the last, I don't know, six months, I've been getting cramps so bad, especially the first day that I am like having a fever. I throw up from the pain, it's so bad. So I, trust me, like I know pain. And I also can't take a lot of kind of pain medicine because adult pain medicine like really gets into my stomach and my head and like I get like really weird from it and it really upsets my whole body. So the only kind of medicine I ever take if I like have to because I try not to is Motrin or ibuprofen or whatever you want to call it. This is the 200 milligrams and I usually just take one. I only usually take it when it's like that instance where I'm like throwing up and it gets so painful I have to do something. If you don't want to take medicine like me, a heating pad is a good way to go. I know a lot of people like the hot water bottles. I just don't like those. I think it's like too much of a hassle. So this one is like a really big one I got from Conair. I think I got it from like Bed Bath & Beyond for like 20 bucks or something. And I think it's like dry and wet heat or moist heat, something like that. I really like it and it definitely works. And if you don't have one of these and you use your laptop in bed and it gets hot, then you can put that right there in that area and it can help too. I wouldn't recommend that because that's probably not like good for your ovaries or something. Now for all the other kind of side effects that go along with that lovely time of the month that we all look forward to um, is acne. Most people I'd say break out from that time of the month or right before right after something like that so I have some products here that should help out with that the first two I've talked about on my channel a million times but I thought I would mention them anyway one is the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment with salicylic acid it looks like this it's about six seven dollars at most drugstores I really recommend it if you have certain breakouts from around that time of the month I know a lot of people break out around their chin around that time of the month because that is where your hormones um, there's online you can find like the chart of like where your breakouts are in your face and what that's caused by whether it's like your respiratory system or your hormones or whatever it is and I break out mostly all along my jaw which is from hormones and um, I this I find this help a lot it's not gonna work a hundred percent on like those cystic acne problems it's more for just like general kind of breakouts but this is gonna work on work on cystic acne amazingly I have a whole video actually it's really short but a whole video of what I do when I get like one of those cystic breakouts that is so painful and huge and just horrible so I'll link that in the description box and right over here it is the Mario Badescu drying lotion this stuff is amazing when you have a really horrible zit that you can't even pop it's not like a whiteheads I mean it works on whiteheads too but it's around $18 I think or 14 something like that if you struggle with cystic acne or any kind of breakouts that are like sore this is gonna be amazing. Dab it onto your spot overnight, and then by the morning it should be pretty much almost cleared up, maybe one to two nights. And then I also find that during that time of the month, you're more tired, I mean, at least me, I know that that time of the month, I do not wanna get out of bed. Most likely you're gonna have under eye bags, you're gonna have breakouts, like I said, and you're gonna want a really good concealer for that week. And this is a concealer that's pretty expensive, so I don't use this every single day. When I do have extra bad breakouts or extra bad under eye circles, I will use this, and it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye with Collagen and Vitamins C and K. I love this concealer. It's in a really handy squeeze tube, so you're not getting any bacteria or anything like that. You can just dot it anywhere in your face. It is obviously meant for under eye, but it's really great for on the face too. I'm wearing it today. It is really, really good. I'd highly recommend it. It's really moisturizing, so it's not going to cling to dry spots, and it's just one of the best concealers out there, so I definitely recommend this. Whether you're having like dark under eye circles or breakouts or anything, it's just it's really, really fantastic. Okay, now this might be a little bit gross, a little bit too much information, but I thought I would talk about it anyway because I just felt like it 
about that time of the month I feel like not only are you more tired and like everything pretty much with your body is like against you but I feel like I get more sweaty I get really hot like a menopause hot flash or something I get really warm and I just feel like my body doesn't smell as good my sweat smells worse than normal if that makes sense I don't know so I'd recommend a really good deodorant the one I use that I really enjoy and lasts so long is the degree motion sense sexy intrigue I love the scent but this is an antiperspirant and deodorant I don't know about the whole aluminum thing that people talk about I don't really know what that is like what that's all about but I really like it it smells really good and it lasts really long and it helps prevent sweat and doesn't make you smell bad along with that I also like a really nice perfume this is my favorite perfume at the moment so I just thought I'd mention it obviously any per perfume will do is the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs I love this one so it's just a little rollerball just smells so nice and fresh and it's amazing um, I don't usually do this because my bathroom is one bathroom for five people and the bathtub doesn't really work so I can't really do this but I'd recommend this for other people if you're having cramps or you're feeling achy all over I know my back always hurts during that time of the month take a nice long like warm bath I know people like swear by this it's like using the hot water bottle but your whole body's in it also recommend just a hot shower if you don't like baths or you can't take baths if you do have the luxury of taking a bath then go for it when I just take a shower whether I'm washing my hair or not just like sitting in the steam and the warmth in the shower just really kind of helps you like re get revived and feel a little bit better definitely just try to relax get revived the okay, next two things might not be like true for everyone but for me personally I don't get bloated during that time of the month um, I've never had that problem getting bloated or anything like that so these are definitely things that help me out coffee I know a lot of people say don't drink coffee because it bloats you and things like that but for me since I don't get that problem I need extra coffee during that time of the month I already am addicted to coffee if you don't drink coffee maybe this isn't a great idea you're not used to having caffeine but if you're addicted to coffee like me and you drink it at least once a day then I definitely recommend going up to two times a day during that time of the month and definitely keep it all before noon so that you're not getting letting it affect your sleep cycle that night but I would go up to a second cup or like a half more cup because if you're extra tired it's really gonna just help you like push through that extra like fatigue also water I know a lot of people like who get bloated they don't want to drink that much water because they think it's gonna add up to their water weight and they're just gonna feel really not comfortable but for me water helps with everything I just felt it feel like it really helps to purge everything bad for my body it just makes me feel a lot more clean and more hydrated and everything and then two things I want to recommend for snack wise because we you guys know we get these cravings I mean if you're not with me on this then I don't even know like what like if you're even human because I get the cravings where you want chocolate one second and a second you take a bite out of that like Oreo or something then you want something salty and back and forth and back and forth so my more healthy options that still kind of satisfy those cravings would be for the chocolate craving would be Brookside I think it's called Brookside I don't have any right now I actually ate them all but they're Brookside kind of fruit covered chocolate and it's a dark chocolate so dark chocolate has more antioxidants is going to be a lot healthier than milk chocolate um, I know Dole makes chocolate, dark chocolate covered strawberries in the freezer those are really good and a bit more healthy Brookside ones are really good my favorite is the pomegranate ones they're like little pomegranate seeds covered in dark chocolate and then salty snack I think you all know what I'm gonna say kale chips and I think that that's a really great option even if you don't like kale if you think ew greens I'm not into that it's definitely not better than eating a whole bag of chips or pretzels or something like that you do put salt on it and they do taste like a nice amazing salty snack only they're a lot healthier for you they have like a lot of good vitamins in them and stuff like that so I definitely recommend that they're super easy to make like they literally take like 10 minutes so I would highly 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 recommend that both of those snacks are gonna kind of satisfy those cravings without like making you feel a lot worse about what you just did you know what I'm talking about yeah okay and then I just want to mention a few things that I like to do during the time of the month that just kind of make me feel better and more pampered and more relaxed one of them is face masks I have a whole face mask mask collection and review video on my channel that I'll link below it's kind of everything for any need you might possibly have it's for breakouts oily skin dry skin dehydrated skin whatever kind of problems you have I pretty much talked about masks that would work for you in that video if you're interested but I always like to do a mask whether it's my homemade one one from Lush one from Freeman whatever I recommend just having some alone time doing something you really enjoy because you can't really get out of bed and I would say binge on Netflix anything watch TV I know during the day Bones is on TNT and I love Bones I've watched every episode a number of times I really whatever show you like on Netflix I can recommend a million of them but yeah any kind of TV show that you can just kind of like sit and relax and just like escape from the pain would be great also something I'd recommend during that time especially is Cosmo you guys know I love my Cosmo this is the May one for 2015 it has Madonna on it really awesome cover I think but I'd really recommend just
just doing something like that, especially Cosmo. It's such a, like, a girls magazine that you can just kind of feel like you're being related to. No matter what kind of article, there's always going to be something that you feel like you can relate to. And I really recommend it because it just kind of gives you that escape, just kind of like watching YouTube videos d does for me. Yeah, I think that is all I have to share for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And follow me on all my social media. It's all linked in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Controversy is, controversy is the show favorite show channel video. What am I saying?